Steve Schmidt, Chief Security Officer for Amazon. Are we facing a privacy apocalypse? I think that's a, a bit of a dramatic description. I think what we will continue to see is requirements from customers to improve the security and retention of their data in a way that's consistent with their expectations for privacy. What's coming next in data privacy protection as well as data security? I expect companies to move more towards confidential computing, which allows them to do sensitive operations within a piece of hardware that doesn't allow access by human beings. I expect people to encrypt data more when it's at rest and in motion around the world. And most importantly, I expect them to require the use of hardware-based multi-factor authentication to prevent access by cyber criminals and by nation states. Tell us more about hardware-based multi-factor authentication. So the use of a hardware token, whether it's something that's supported by the FIDO Alliance, for example, or others, is the best way to prevent ransomware actors from gaining access to authorized identities who have access to data that's sensitive and may be interesting. Similarly, nation state actors love to take advantage of the identities of people who have access to data that they are interested in. Using a hardware-based multi-factor authentication token really makes their efforts much more difficult. And have you seen many examples of people not using this kind of authentication falling victim to nation state actors? Unfortunately, if you look at the history of nation state actors gaining access to information around the world, the vast majority of situations are where people's identities were taken and they weren't using multi-factor authentication. And the guys on the other side were able to act as you say those people. The, the guys on the other side love it when you're not using MFA. They you grab your username and your password and they pretend, pretend that they are you. How expensive is it for organizations to protect themselves in this way? They're very inexpensive. It varies around the world, of course, but the typical price for these devices is somewhere in the $10 range. When you view what the damage potential is, if your identity gets taken, that's a very minimal investment. For consumers, what's the solution? For consumers, the best bet right now is to use the SMS or instant messenger based authentication that's available from a variety of providers around the world. It gives you a chance to receive a code on your phone. You use that code to validate that you are indeed the person who's authorizing a transaction, for example. So there is hope in this world of security disasters. I think there's always hope and we're always going to see improvement in this space. Thank you, Steve Schmidt. Thank you.